I'll set all this up in the air. Okay, I'll give you a, a procedure. A procedure in the air. I see. Probably start. <clears throat> we do the RNAP for one six because that's up. Maybe there. You will just have to wait to see what uh, the tower gives you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're the safety pilot. Not even a CFI, no less a double R. You're kind of taking over here, huh? Huh? I'm just making sure you know how to safely operate this motor vehicle. <laughs> All right, so today I'm flying with Alec. He's going to be my safety pilot slash fill in CF double I, evidently. Uh, I got to go out and do some uh, approaches. My IFR currency is uh, ended like two days ago, so I got to get, get some approaches in. And I'm also doing it, as you can see, from the left seat. Um, I can't fly approaches from the right seat, but I figure, haven't flown over here in a while, it's current in the left seat also. That will give Alec even more to critique, because I have not landed from the left seat and I don't know when. All about that sight picture, man. <laughs> Get that nose over. Nose to the right, nose to the right. From like two tax CV Alpha. So, uh, yes, I'm sure Alec will be throwing back at me all the lines I've given him over the years. Well, if you dish it out, you got to be able to take it. I, I earned the right to dish it out. I went through five check rides. Well, you're about to earn the right to take it. All right, so far, so good. Feel confident with you, the PIC. Um, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I, I don't have a lot of experience. Well, I will say, those those taxi lights never came on, but I know it's daytime. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really. don't ever use taxi lights. During oh, ever, ever. Mark that down. You can mark down what you want. Why should I turn taxi lights on? Just that's wear it. them out quicker. I'll let other people know you're taxiing. That strobe's on. Good morning, Concord Ground, Diamond 526 Delta Sierra. South ramp with Charlie will be departing to the southeast. November 526 Delta Sierra, Trimway 2, TAC, CV Alpha. 2V Alpha, 526 Delta Sierra. Okay. They're pretty good comps. What? You've you done this before? Well, I watched this guy on YouTube uh, who gives you lessons on this stuff. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. Sometimes a little funny, you know, sometimes whatever, you know. Yeah, whatever is right. All right, we got just a Scotia wind behind us. I'll put stick forward. Why Why do you do that? I want to keep that tail down. We don't want that wind getting under that tail and lifting it up. Especially since we have a T-tail, it's up higher. Is that the right answer? Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Okay, I was guessing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Over that way, try and get around the center line. All right, heels to floor. There we go. And full power. Let's get her on center line. And rotate. Hey, this is weird. Is it like your first time flying? It's just weird steering with the left hand. Hey, right, we're going to climb out of VX or VY. I can't ever remember which one this doesn't have. 67. All right, so Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, expect the RNAV runway 16 at Anson. With the RNAV 16 Anson County, 526 Delta Sierra. All right, let's brief this approach. All right, procedure's not available at night. Only 16 helicopter, okay, nothing. Touchdowns on 300 feet. Just approach, climb 3000, direct, open queue and hold. All right, so AWOS is going to be 119325. That over there, and CTAP is 122.8. That over there. And we're going to, I was not given an altitude, but it says between three and 6,000. So uh, ATC 3000, fine with you? Affirmative. All right. We got two step downs, one is Opoli, Opoli. I'm sorry, one at Georgia down to 2100, then one at Opoli down to 1040. And then we go down to our minimums of 680. I, I didn't order bumpy weather to do these approaches. Well, you got it. All right, so from what I hear, we're gonna have a tailwind, eight knots. A low approach on. Yeah, we'll do a low approach. 
Uh, we we'll probably have to do a sidestep or something here since we've got a fair amount uh, of traffic on 3 4. All right, so we're going to send down to 2,100 feet. All right, there's 21. Up two miles out from my final approach fix. Next step down is going to be 1040. All right, we we'll start slowing her down. Mile out from our final approach fix. I get her down to 90 knots. All right, fuel pump on. First notch of flaps. Full prop. I right, keep an eye out for him. Nope. If I have to break off early, we'll break off early. Richmond County traffic, Skyhawk 814, Mike Victor. All right, there's 1100. The We're going to hold. South, uh, inbound runway 32, full stop. Richmond County traffic. Right, more power. I have that traffic inside, they just took off. I think we're good. And Anson County clear. traffic, Skyline 723 Delta Mike, uh, departing the pattern to the southwest. Hey, okay, you're clear. Okay, half mile, then we'll be down to 680 will be minimums. All right, so we've cleared that. We're down to 9, I'm sorry, 680. My power back. Oh, shit, what happened? It just totally went away from me. All right, field in sight. Minimum. It was right on the line, and then yeah, boom, they, it just I, went. I boom. thought you were like starting the sidestep or something. You started going that way. That's guy traffic, 526 steps there. Low approach behind the go, departing to the south. Okay. All right, let's bring flaps up. Fuel pump up. Let's go power. I'm back to 24. All right, other than right at the end there, whatever happened, I thought I tracked her pretty well. I was about 40 feet low at one point. All right, you want to take controls? Here, my, my controls. You have the controls. All right, I'm going to reset for ILS 34. All right, I have the controls. Your controls. My controls. And this is ILS 34? ILS 34. Edge gauge, traffic 526 does 10 to the south. Practice RNAV 34. 25 knot headwind. I wouldn't have it any other way. This one's going to take a while. All right, 34 knot headwind now. Slightly off the left. All right, here's localizer. And I have glide slope. And I'm one dot above. For 90. All right, first notch of flaps. Fuel pump. Full prop. Rich. All right, keep her at 90. Traffic 526 does that short final 3-4, engine. Oh, just got off. Shit. All right, 200 minimums. All right, field inside. All right, that's pretty close. All right, so let's slow her down. Let's land. To do it. All right, oh, I put flaps in just a little bit soon. I don't have a, a I keep her about 75. Uh, Looks like the wind is almost right down the road. There's minimums. All right, that was pretty close. I can live with that. Yeah. Not too shabby. I got to slow a couple times, but I know the wind's kicking. Yeah, it's bouncing around pretty good. To me, it looks like you're way left. Uh, slightly, but how about that touchdown, baby? All right. Uh, all right. It actually, to be honest with you, it touched down sooner than I thought it was going to. Yeah, I could kind of tell because you didn't really flare at that, but it was, it was smooth. Soft, it was, yeah. yeah, very smooth. And you're right, I am left of center line. You are. Uh, how am I doing, coach? I'm pretty good, actually. Oh, okay. Better than I would expect. Oh. What did you expect? <laughs> you to be all over the place. Oh. But no, you've actually, I mean, so far you pass. Oh, cool. All right, procedure, approach, RNAV 3-4. Right, on the RNAV 434, we have to use LNAV since we don't have WAS, so that's 860 feet. And we'll activate that. And we'll change our CDI back to GPS. And initial altitude will be between 3 and 6. We'll go at 3. All right, we've already got 3 set. All right, you want to try to take off over there? Okay, my controls. Your controls. Oh my god, this feels weird. What the heck? Dude, I don't like this. Uh, no, nah, this ain't right. <laughs> this is not right. Oh, where are we going? It's crazy. Oh. When I first started flying, all I wanted to do was use my right hand. 
Uh, now uh, all I want to do is use my left I, hand. So put the center line in your left knee. Really, that's the only orientation thing. Center line, left knee. Okay. All right, here we go. There you go. That's it right there. Perfect. Hey, you got to get used to looking over yeah, here. Yeah, way over there. Yeah. It's the farthest thing away. Yes, you got to get used to that. So I think you had a little double tap on the on the rotate. All right, we're going to come in at 3,000. Okay, First step to two, then to one. And then to minimum. Final approach fix is Rusley. About a mile before Rusley, I want to be configured at nine knots. First notch and flaps, full prop, mixture set. We'll pump the whole thing. And the rationale for setting up that way is we're basically riding this, riding it down at 90 knots, first notch of flaps, uh, landing configuration basically, basically we're getting it set up. County 5833, Whiskey, go around, Manta County. Getting it set up just like we would once we pass 1,000 footers in the downwind on a regular landing. We'll ride that down until we get the runway in sight. That leaves us a good spot to just pull power, drop that speed just a little bit to get below uh, 90 or 91, hit that last notch of flaps, and that'll help slow us down to get us ready to land because you don't know how far you're going to have to slow down once you pop out of the clouds. Um, so that's kind of where that method came from. That's not a POH method. That's something that I've developed with a couple other CFIs. 5833, turning into the crosswind, and the county. And it seems to work well. Um, my first instructor was teaching me to ride down at final approach speed, 75 knots, all the way from final approach fix in. And that took forever. forever. And if the wind is beating up, it got even worse. You could get a lot of stall horn um, from the wind shifting around. So I really didn't care for that method. Hands the county, method, 5833 Whiskey, into the downwind, and the county. Um, this method seemed to work a lot better. So this will be a, again, That's teardrop. teardrop. Yeah. Same thing. Now, what would it be if you were coming from this angle? Oh, that would be a parallel. Okay, what about this angle? Oh, that would be direct. I see. I told you, I watched this guy on YouTube. It's, that's beating us up. I just... Oh, oh my God. Oh, we picked a really good day to do this. Right you sound of my head just ate the glass. Um, what I was saying before, some people might see me using autopilot on approach and say I'm cheating. But in reality, when I do approaches in real life, in the real IMC, I use autopilot as much as I can because it really frees you up to monitor everything a little better. So it's always good to stay proficient. Um, you have to do it by hand too because sometimes the autopilot says, uh, I'm done, if it gets bumpy like this, it may just kick off. And if I remember correctly, you actually do have to do an autopilot for the uh, instrument the check ride, don't you? You're supposed to be able to use, know how to use all the equipment in your plane, that's correct. So on several of the approaches on my instrument check ride, I use the autopilot. And the DPE was like, you can use the autopilot as much as you want, but at some point, I guarantee you this autopilot's going to quit on you, you better know how to take over. And sure enough, he popped the autopilot breaker at one point. All right, approach is now flashing. All right, there we go. All right, so now we got to go down to 2,000. Vertical speed down 400, and we're going to really watch this speed. Did I, I hit approach right before OPQ? It took it, and as soon as I crossed OPQ, it, it flashed out. I had to do it again. So Just leave it alone. Leave it alone until you cross into uh, once once you start into the uh, descending out of the hold. Then you have to check it, make sure it did switch uh, make over. Make sure it stayed in there, because if it's not an approach, it's not going to fly correctly. All right, three tenths, we get first notch, fuel pump, full prop, mixture up. All right, we're going to hold her at 90. That's what we're going to shoot for. 83 is not what we're shooting for. More power. All right, so now I'm going to hold her down, let her descend. 500 feet a minute. We're doing dive and drive. What else should Trim you have done at the final approach fix? I turned the runway lights on. Is that what you're referring to? Yes. So you have not done that once. I have not done that once. You are correct. At a non-towered non airport, we should be doing that. And traffic commander for here, no clear from the Good board. catch. Yeah. I was thinking about it in the hole, and I was just waiting for you not to do it. Just waiting to catch me. Yeah. I was like, you know what? He had done that once. That is true. 
Always get me for that. Uh, we crossed for 40 feet high. You said we're clear. All right. About 40 feet high. Autopilot. Right, should I do another landing or should we just go? Land it. Land it. Okay. Boss says land it. All right. I don't know. Thought that was pretty good too. I'm happy. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Alright, go here. You want to fly us home? Uh, I suppose I could do that. That's a workout. Hey, right, think that was successful. Got four approaches, two holds. Got some, you got some right seat time under your belt now. There you go. Um, I'm not current for six months next. I think two of mine were like September, October, but I should be current for three, four months.